In this video, we're going to be using Shannon Soaps, Coconut Lum, and the Feather SS. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. And as mentioned before, today we're going to be using another worker, workhorse, excuse me, soap. This is Shannon's Coconut Lime. Really nice coconut lime that will remind you of a give you a sort of a tropical vibe, I would say, which is for me perfect, even in the fall uh, and or winter. This one I have is not the goat's milk formula that they have on their website right now, but I will give you the price and ingredients of the formula that you can buy right now, the one that I saw available on Shannon's and like Razor Company and so on. Um, $15.95 for four ounces on our cost chart is a good $3.98 per ounce. That is for the premium goat's milk uh, formula. The ingredients, we'll show them to you right there, which are some really nice ingredients. This is just a good quality soap that re I really always appreciate and enjoy. Easy to lather. It makes a great lather. Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, misting the face there. Standard 24 hours growth. Get a little moisture going. And uh, in our bowl there, we already have it. the lather whipped up. And Shan's making makes a tremendous lather. I've never had any problems lathering it, and you'll see today that it is quite nice indeed. Smells great, performs great, great people. The soap is reasonably priced, which you know I'm a big fan of as well. It holds moisture. I've got quite a bit of moisture in this, as you can see there. And uh, as you can see, it's falling down my brush. I've got it. So I really put the put the moisture to this one. But have no fear, it will work fine despite me making a mess with it. Nice and slick, it does its job the way I soap it's supposed to. And you talk about bloops, I got bloops going all over the place. And I haven't even started shaving yet. Shannon's soap, really good, really good soap in my opinion. So today we're gonna try to be mindful of our technique using the Feather SS with the uh, super professional blade or professional super blade and let's get going and get a shave our last shave here at the, my folks house nice and smooth there feels very nice and you you could see the the bloop there I've got lather falling all over the place because I really hydrated this lather but I just wanted to see what would happen and it's quite slick, as you would imagine. Anytime you get that much hydration, it's gonna be quite slick. Let me tell you, it really is. Blade's still cutting well. I don't know how many uses I have on this super blade. Um, I wanna say four or five. Oftentimes people will ask how many shaves you get out of these blades and it really depends on you. I think the general rule for a lot of people is maybe twice what you get out of a DE blade. These are thicker uh, blades, more rigid, but they're still quite thin relative to a uh, DE blade. But I have heard of people getting many, many shaves on these, you know, 20, but some people say they get five. And so, you know, it's one of those things that going to be dependent on you and how your beard is and how you use your razor and so on. Boy, I'm getting the lather all over the place. I tell you right now, it's slick and that's, that's exactly what you want. You want it to be nice, slick, hydrated. And here is where we really have to be careful. And I mentioned it in my last video. When putting the razor to the face. And I'll try to stay cognizant of that today because I don't want to be traveling back home with a new memory line. But, you know, hey, I won't make any promises. Hope everybody is doing well. I've really enjoyed uh, spending the time down here with my mom and dad and helping out and enjoying Thanksgiving. That's certainly been a blessing for me. I put so much lather on, on here that when I, you know, hold the brush up, it's blooping off. So I actually got too much water in this, but the soap will perform all the same. It's still plenty slick enough. And all I need 
really is a thin barrier of slickness. I don't need a Santa Claus beard. I don't need it to look perfect. I just need it to be slick. And this is, and you can see all that hydration. It's actually too much, but that's okay because the soap will still do everything it needs to do, despite being very, very hydrated and overhydrated actually. But that's okay. What we need in a lather and what we fawn over are often two very different things. We kind of, the uber hobbyists kind of overdo everything. <laughs> it's just sort of in their nature and my nature too, you know. And those are just someone who, who uh, spends a lot of time in the hobby and analyzes every little thing. Um, that's sort of an uber hobbyist, not the, the Joe, the regular Joe that just sort of buys the products and uses and enjoys. We kind of over analyze everything and make everything more complicated than it is oftentimes or it need be and so just know that if you get that if your lather is hydrated and slick you're going to be good don't focus so much on the way it looks focus more on the way it feels and the way the razor is able to uh, glide across the skin if you get that right you'll be okay to go. I'm just going to continue to go against the grain here, which is upward. And I'll do a short across pass on the last one. Sometimes I switch that up a little bit just for, just to break it up. Very nice. Blade's still cutting quite well. Well, and no, no problems with that. The soap smells great and it is quite slick. And this particular one comes to you at a great price. Um, all the Shannon's offerings are affordable. They do have different formulas. They have sort of what I call a regular formula, which honestly does everything I needed to do. But then they have uh, the coconut lime that's currently for sales and their premium goat's milk formula. I like goat's milk a lot too. I don't know if it's just in my head, but I, I always think I get a nice, Creamy, creamy lather with with goat's milk, but you know it could completely be in my head again. Sometimes we overdo things, but uh, I think the Ollie Shannon's offerings are quite good, pretty much across the board. You just have to find the scents and so forth that you like, and they have some good ones. They have some good ones, and I don't know how many I have of them. Probably, I don't know. Six, seven, eight Shannon soaps. Somewhere thereabouts, maybe more. But I have enough to really know that I appreciate them. And every time I use them, I talk about them in glowing terms because, <clears throat> the, again, they give me everything I need in a soap without trying to extract every penny from my wallet, which I appreciate, especially now it's Christmas time. You know, we have to buy gifts for our loved, one, loved ones and so on, so. Um, buying soaps that are friendly on the wallet, it's a great time to, if you're going to buy soaps, to buy some that aren't as expensive. And in my opinion, do the same thing as anything else. All right, very nice, we'll do one last little cross. The grain pass, which is on my cheeks this way, on my neck, the, the grain runs all kind of crazy directions, so I actually go across every, all three passes. Get a quick lather on here. And we'll get this shave in the books and ready to hit the road from uh, here in Charlotte back to West Virginia which today is a little over a three hour drive because I'm gonna go visit with the in-laws and help them get their Christmas stuff out and so on. And then later on in the evening, I'll drive the additional hour home and we'll be sort of back to normal for a couple of weeks until we come back down here to visit for Christmas and so on and sort of make the holiday rounds again 
which uh, of course I'm happy to do. All right, let's close another good one out today. Again, trying to be careful and mindful of where I, how I put this razor to the face. That's very key for me. And Joseph was uh, saying the other day, he knew after I said, don't come in too steep, and then I came in too steep. <laughs> It's easy, easy, easy to do with these razors. I would say that's the one, if there is sort of a, I wouldn't call it a disadvantage, but maybe a feature that is unappealing relative to a straight razor. The shavettes generally, because of that, in my opinion, because of that very thin, thin blade, they're much easier to leave a mark. If, you're, if your technique is not on. But on the same token, because of that thin, super sharp blade, they cut very well also. So, you know, you get something for the additional risk, but um, they'll definitely, if you're not staying mindful of your technique, remind you and so that that would it i said i would say if there is a uh i must have got a bump on my neck there somewhere maybe right there that's the other thing too if you got bumps they're gone <laughs> if you go over them so for me i don't worry too much about that if it's a bump i just don't worry about it and you can see i'm mighty hot and so i will be looking forward to shaving in the Sort of home then. That will be nice. Whew. A little hot today. Now let's rinse that off. I got lather going all the way, all the way up next to the pin. You don't want to get water and and lather um, in this area because that will rust. I don't know about this one, but a straight razor you definitely don't want to do it. Okay. Let's not do what we did the other day. Be nice and gentle right there. Don't come in too steep. So I'll lay it kind of flat. All right, there we have it. And there is where I got a bump on my face, but no worries, that'll be just fine. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the Magic Made by Witches. This fair is Witch Hazel Cucumber. And that was a nice shave. I did scalp a bump there, but I don't count that. That bump doesn't need to be there anyway. No, it's not. Um, if I make a mark due to bad technique, I'll never call it a great shave. But if I just scalp a bump, I never worry about that. So you're going to have that sometimes, so that is not a concern of mine at all. We had an excellent shave today with the Shannon's Coconut Lime. Great people, great product, great price. Love it. We used the Feather SS. No problems today. Of course, our Ariana and Evans Synthetic with the Tony Dillette 3B bow. And we're going to finish off today again with the Undersea because my mom really liked the scent the other day. And so I'll put it on one last time before I go. And we'll be smelling nice on the road today. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This has definitely become my favorite aquatic scent. My second favorite would be Katie's Bubbles. Um... Lamarche du Rousseau, LMR, we call it. I can't remember how to say it, but that would be number two. This is number one. Absolutely phenomenal. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I really appreciate it. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, choice shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.